the text of the declaration, was published in the press on 9 November 1917. A committee was established in April 1915 by British Prime Minister H. H. Squiff to determine their policy towards the Ottoman Empire including Palestine. A. Squiff, who had favored post-war reform of the Ottoman Empire, resigned in December 1916, his replacement David Lloyd George favored partition of the empire. The first negotiations between the British and the Zionists took place at a conference on 7 February 1917 that included Sir Mark Sykes in the Zionist leadership. Subsequent discussions led to Balfour's request on 19 June that Rothschild and Hein Wiesmann submit a draft of a public declaration. Further drafts were discussed by the British cabinet during September and October, with input from Zionist and anti-Zionist Jews, but with no representation from the local population in Palestine. A stalemate in southern Palestine was broken by the Battle of Beersheba on 31 October 1917. The release of the final declaration was authorized on 31 October, the preceding cabinet discussion had referenced perceived propaganda benefits amongst the worldwide Jewish community for the Allied war effort. The opening words of the declaration represented the first public expression of support for Zionism by a major political power. The term national home had no precedent in international law and was intentionally vague as to whether a Jewish state was contemplated. The intended boundaries of Palestine were not specified and the British government later confirmed that the words in Palestine meant that the Jewish national home was not intended to cover all of Palestine. The British government acknowledged in 1939 that the local population's views should have been taken into account and recognized in 2017 that the declaration should have called for protection of the Palestinian Arabs' political